My name is Michaela Proper, and I'm a fiber artist. When I was between 12 and 16, I desperately wanted this pink feather hair hat by Eugenie Kim. It was spectacular. And I was, of course, very dramatic. I was like, no, I have to have this hat. My mother was not going to spend more than $100 on a hat for her weird kid. And she went, okay, here's a compromise. If you can figure out how to make it, I will buy you the stuff it takes to make it. The thing with felting, you start out with something pretty loose and it's kind of like baking a cake. You put in something loose and malleable and it becomes really firm and it keeps its shape. That's kind of how the felting process is. Uh, the natural fibers open up and close around each other so it's essentially a controlled tangle. So the first hat I made, I made hat size and it shrunk down and I have a Barbie with the most spectacular hat. The second hat I made was the right size but it had this beautiful warp to it because I didn't realize that the stitches had such an impact on the final product. So. The third attempt was just perfect, and it fit, and it's cute, and I can still wear it if I want to. But I had learned so much by then that I kept wanting to learn and make bigger, more elaborate pieces, and put octopuses on them, and all kinds of stuff. I knit a lot. I would say I probably knit 20 hours a week on various projects right now because um, instead of just machining out hats, which is what happened when I started doing art shows, I'm thinking more about the silhouettes that I want and the textures I want, so I'm doing smaller pieces to kind of get a feel for what I want in the larger pieces. I like to think my pieces will become traditions. Traditions that are unique to the people that have them that it's not all the same across the board. My name is Michaela Proper, and I'm a fiber artist. 